Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Steve Dworkin. I'm a professor in the Geosciences Department at Baylor University, and I'd like to talk to you today about uh, what it's like to be an undergraduate at Baylor studying geology. And before I dive into that, though, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about myself. I've, uh, I've been at Baylor for 29 years, and uh, I have a, a long perspective, therefore, on Baylor. I've seen uh, a lot of changes at Baylor, and I can tell you from my perspective that Baylor is at its best right now. Uh, I've been heavily involved with the undergraduates in my career. Uh, I have probably mentored about 30 senior theses, and that's a, a class that our undergraduates can take uh, where they do original research. I've also mentored about 20 master's students and three PhD students. Uh, however, my uh, my favorite part about being at Baylor is working with the undergraduates. And one of the courses that I teach, and I'm going to show lots of pictures of this course throughout this presentation, is the capstone course in geology. It's for the seniors, and it's where I take them out into the field, and they actually get to look at the things that we've been teaching them for, for four years in the classroom. And uh, this is a picture of a bunch of the uh, geology students in Red Rock Canyon in uh near Las Vegas and Nevada, and uh, a very exciting place geologically. Uh, in, a, in addition to uh, being heavily involved in undergraduate education, uh, I also uh, am a researcher, and my research area is geochemistry, and I bring that expertise to the students uh, in this capstone class, as well as many of the other courses that I teach. And here's an example of the students doing a water chemistry project at Yellowstone um, out in the field, uh, and it's a, a really good educational experience for uh, the students. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the geology department. First of all, uh, let me tell you about the administrative part of our department. Steve Dreesey is the chairman, uh, and he is an expert on ancient soils, and he does paleoclimate reconstructions. Dan Pepe is our graduate program director. He's involved in the graduate research in our uh, department and the grad students. And uh, he is an expert on uh, leaves. He's a paleobotanist. And I'm the undergraduate program director, and as I mentioned, I'm a geochemist, and I'm heavily involved in undergraduate education in our department. Uh, our department is a, uh, a large, diverse, and uh, growing department. We have uh, 16 geology facul faculty and one geographer, and our faculty have a broad range of knowledge in new and emerging fields. And what's exciting about the, the Baylor today is that uh, it's a very intellectually stimulating uh, environment, and the undergraduates get exposed to this because the faculty uh, are so engaged in teaching. We have outstanding teaching in lab facilities, and you'll hear me mention this several times. We're in the Baylor Science Building, which I hope you'll get to visit sooner or later, uh, because it's simply uh, a first-class uh, teaching and research facility. Uh, one of the things that I like about uh, Baylor, and in particular the geology department, is that we have a very caring family atmosphere. We have 17 to 90 majors total, and, and because our department is uh, small, uh, I have the opportunity and all of our faculty have the opportunity to know all the undergraduates who come through. Uh, undergraduates can be exposed to geology, and there are multiple opportunities for high-quality mentorship in uh, so giving them experience doing research, and we have a really good record in job placement and continuation in uh, graduate studies. Let me tell you a little bit about what it's like to be a, a geologist just in general. And uh, I know that when I was uh, thinking about being a geology major in my undergraduate career, uh, I told my dad about it, and he looked at me with kind of a strange look in his eye. He went off and did some research on geology and came back and said, okay, that's a, that's a good area to study. And what he had discovered was that geologists are very employable. So uh, as my slide says here, a geologist is a well-rounded scientist with a lot of knowledge of the hard sciences. So we have to train ourselves in math and chemistry and physics and biology. Uh, and then we take all of those components of the sciences and add to it geology. 
A geologist has to be comfortable in the field. And here's a picture of one of our geologists on the trail leading down to the Grand Canyon. And once again, th these pictures that I'm showing, many of them are from this uh, capstone course that I teach where I take the students out for five weeks and we uh, essentially do a five week backpacking, excuse me, camping trip. Uh, and they get to see all the geology of the American West. Uh, I believe that there are a few degrees from Baylor that require such a, uh, a depth and breadth of knowledge of all the other sciences which have to be brought together in order to make us a uh, geologist. So for example, some of the other science and math courses that are required for geology major include biology, chemistry, uh, math, and physics. So therefore, being a geoscience major is a very rigorous degree, uh, however, the, the, the payoff for being uh, a geologist and going through such a rigorous degree is oftentimes employment that is uh, uh, highly compensated. So what are some of the areas in geology that uh, our students study and eventually could uh, get a job in? Well, it turns out that the area of water resources is in with, in with geology. Uh, environmental geology is a uh, topic that, or an area that many, many of our students go into. Uh, we have a very strong uh, program in paleoclimatology, and I'm highlighting it with my, uh, with my cursor right there. Uh, a lot of our professors are involved in studying what the ancient climate of the earth used to be like, and that is a very relevant topic for today for our concern with what's going on with today's climate. The areas of stratigraphy um, is the study of layered rocks. Many stratigraphers go on to be petroleum geologists. People who study tectonics and structure are interested in rock deformation and mountain building. Uh, many of our students go on to study petroleum geology, and that's one of the big areas of uh, employment for geologists. We have geologists who study geomorphology, and uh, geomorphologists uh, study the surface of the earth and the shape of the surface of the earth. Engineering geology is also an interesting area for geologists to study. And uh, one of my good friends, Dr. Peter Allen, who's in our department, is studies uh, engineering geology, and he's very interested in how uh, streams erode the landscape, uh, which turns out to be a really important idea, particularly if you have a home somewhere near a river. Uh, we have a planetary geologist, um, we have a very strong program in geophysics, geography, soils, um, geobiochemistry. Uh, earth hazards is an area that geologists go on to study. Um, they study earthquakes and volcanoes. Uh, we have a new paleontologist who's been in our department for a couple of years, and she studies uh, extinction events in Earth's history. Uh, uh, oceanography is another area that geologists go into. We have several students who are interested in geoarchaeology and study the recent past, and we have a very strong program in uh, numeric modeling. Excuse me. So in the uh, geosciences department at Baylor, there are three tracts that our students can go into. Many of them follow the BS in geology. Uh, also, some of them go into the BS uh, Baylor uh, the Bachelor of Science in Geophysics, and we also have a Bachelor of Arts in Earth Science. So let me tell you a little bit about a little bit about each of these programs. The uh, Bachelor of Science in Geology is a rigorous degree that trains undergraduates for a master's degree <clears throat> and also for uh, uh, a career in geology. Uh, the Bachelor of Science in Geology that I've already mentioned to you has lots of math, chemistry, biology, and physics. It's a very rigorous degree. And uh, we school the students in um, the, the, uh, the topics that they need to learn in the, uh, in the classroom. And then on the right-hand side, you can see a picture of the students, once again, out in the field, applying their knowledge to an actual geological problem uh, in the Rocky Mountains, it turns out, for, for, uh, for this picture. Uh, the BS in geophysics is a uh, much more math-intensive field of geology. Um, geophysicists study earthquakes and the structure of the earth, and they are highly sought after by petroleum uh, companies because of their expertise in uh, mathematics and being able to make images of the uh, subsurface of the earth. And lastly, our uh, Bachelor of Arts in Earth Science trains people to go on to teach earth sciences in primary or secondary schools. Um, 
So a question, why study geology at Baylor? And the answer is, is that we are a great place to study geology because of the rocks that contain lots of dinosaur fossils. And these two examples right here show dinosaur fossils being uh, examined in the field. We have lots of rocks that outcrop and sometimes we have to become ingenious in the way that we look at them on with big cliffs. And also uh, we have, uh, excuse me, Still getting a little bit used to the technology. And, and also, we have the Waco Mammoth site shown in the bottom uh, right-hand corner of uh, the slide uh, right in Waco. So very, very interesting. We, and I want to stress to you that we are a very field-oriented department. We get the students out into the field. And here's a picture of uh, several of the undergraduates on the capstone course in Glacier National Park studying the, the extensive geology uh, in this part of the world. We also have the resources to provide high quality field education using the vast and incomparable geology of the Western United States. And that's where I take them in the capstone class. This picture once again is that class uh, looking at uh, the process of wind blown materials or wind blown sediment in White Sands, New Mexico. And uh, you have to kind of like to be outside to be a, a geologist. We uh, camp a lot and uh, uh, it's a really good experience for the for the students, and uh, through all of these processes, we really do help the students uh, with decisions about where they're going in in life. As I've already mentioned to you, the Baylor Science Building is a state of the art facility. Uh, <clears throat> I just cannot tell you how uh, nice it is to work in a uh, such a well equipped building. When I started at Baylor 29 years ago. Uh, as a geochemist, I need a laboratory, and I had a little tiny old dark room that they allowed me to have that I put my instrumentation in, and now I run four uh, geochemistry laboratories in the Baylor Science Building, and uh, it's, it's just simply a marvelous facility. The geology department has world-class analytical and computational resources for cutting-edge research, and even though uh, a lot of this deals with uh, programs that the graduate students are involved in. The undergraduates also typically become involved in a lot of these topics uh, because the professors are so involved and uh, we give the opportunity to the undergraduates to become involved. So, for example, we have uh, a mass spectrometry laboratory in which we can measure the isotopes of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen or organic matter. We have organic geochemistry laboratories. We have paleo magnetic laboratories, a, a geoluminescence laboratory for dating sediments. Uh, we have a seismology uh, program with lots of equipment for doing seismology. We can do hydrologic modeling of river systems in our department. We have a laboratory for applied petroleum geology. We also have a laboratory for sediment and soil micromorphology and geochemistry and tremendous computational facilities for doing numerical modeling of porous fluid flow. And as I've already mentioned, because the faculty are involved in research, they naturally incorporate undergraduates into their activities. And we need the undergraduates to help us do our uh, research. There's simply too many activities for us to do on our own. And therefore, many of the undergraduates become uh, involved in research uh, activities. Many students pursue a senior thesis, which involves undertaking original research and writing it up. And uh, even if they're not involved in a senior thesis, there's always the opportunity to get hands-on experience gathering uh, data. So let me just tell you about a couple of our faculty members who are um, involved in research that involves undergraduates. Dr. Jay Pulliam is a geophysicist. He studies the structure of the Earth and the Caribbean, and he studies earthquakes uh, and uh, uses a lot of very uh, technical types of analytical equipment uh, to, uh, to study the structure of the Earth and, uh, uh, and seismology. Dr. Peter Allen is our engineering geologist, and uh, he studies uh, erosion at the Earth's surface, and he's trying to develop a universal equation for stream erosion. Dr. Stacy Ashley, he provided me this picture down in the, in the lower left, and he's our petroleum geologist, and uh, he's interested in a field of study called sequence stratigraphy. And uh, Dr. Dan Pepe and Dr. Steve Dreese are both paleoclimatologists. They look at paleo environments in the past, in particular, hominid evolution in East Africa. 
So there's good employment opportunities for geologists today. Um, most of our undergraduate geology majors go ahead and continue on past the uh, undergraduate degree and get a master's degree in geology. And the typical areas that uh, for employment for a geologist is hydrogeology, petroleum geology, economic geology, and natural hazards. And the last few slides I'm going to show you are uh, once again, uh, the uh, undergraduate seniors uh, involved in this capstone geology course that, every, that they have to take, uh, where they get to go out into the field. And here is a, a class from the recent past uh, with me sitting here on the rock and uh, happy students. Uh, and this is in Glacier National Park um, up in Montana. Uh, this is an example of, of the students trying to relax and trying to find a little bit of shade in Dinosaur National uh, Monument in, uh, in Utah. And uh, what they were doing during the day was tromping around looking at the marvelous outcrops of Mesozoic and Paleozoic rocks, measuring them and describing them uh, and, uh, and having a really good educational experience. And then, of course, once they're out in the field and they make their observations, they have to write up the projects. And so this class is uh, interesting and fun, but at the same time, it's rigorous and it involves a, a lot of study and uh, a lot of hard work. And uh, my last picture for my presentation uh, is some happy uh, geology students who are back on their way up out of the Grand Canyon and uh, after uh, examining and looking at the rocks there, uh, that is a very rigorous day and a very enjoyable day uh, of, of field work. Well, it's been my pleasure talking to you. And uh, if you have any questions about the geology program at Baylor for undergraduates, I hope you'll get uh, in touch with me. And once again, my name is Dr. Steve Dworkin. Uh, and uh, it was nice chatting with you today.